Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this video, we are going to learn how to add the user into LDAP Apache directory through our LDAP code. So if you remember in last tutorial, we have seen how to retrieve this user through Java code. So let's move to the coding section. So first of all, I'm going to create a separate method for adding the user. So just make like public void add user so this method I will use to add all the user so first of all I need to use attributes and after that we have to create one object of attribute so just make the name as a attributes equal to new and here we have to use basic attributes so here it will ask to import from javax naming directory so just import from here now what I will do now after that I need to use one class as attribute okay don't confuse with attributes and attribute here we are going to use attribute so I'll just give name as a attri here and this will also import from new basic attribute and if you remember how we are adding the user through some label so it will consider as a object class okay so what I will do I will just come and I will use a star so automatically it will import from that class so you can see I have created one attributes and after that I have created one attribute here what I will do here I will just go attribute and here we are going to add everything in the sense like the user once we are going to add the user that user have some level object class it will come under inet organization person so what I will do here I will just come I will give the name inet organization person okay these are the basic configuration before adding the user so I have done like that one now what I will do here we are having attributes in attributes I am going to put that con configuration so that configuration file will contain the name as a attribute and these are the basic configuration so initially we are done with initial basic configuration so what I will do now now we have to give the details about the user like what user you are going to add what are the names details all the things so what I will do uh, I'm just going to copy this thing and I will just come here I will paste as details so first thing I need to give as a SN okay so SN I will give as a surname so already we have two user one is Tom and Mike so here I am going to give either Ricky SN will be Ricky and if you want to add more fields you can easily add here mobile number address whatever things you want to add you can add into attributes now I am going to use the directory context so this is our connection so I will come down I will use here connection then I will use create sub context here what I have to do so where we are going to add the user like which level so if you remember these are the user right so if you go to the properties and you can see currently user level is this one so I'm just going to copy this whole details right and I am going to paste it here and I'm going to give here attributes so currently mic is already there right so I am going to give here like Tom me right and here it will ask like how you want to go for exception handling so I will just consider as go for try and catch 
so what currently I have done I have created one attributes class here I have added my all the configuration related to object class and inet organization person after that I have added the user details so here you can add user details like all the fields related to the user after that once you are done with your field then you have to do like this one so why I have used here CN because if you notice here I am showing all the user on the basis of CN so that's why I use here CN if you want to UID level you can go for UID level but please make sure you don't use CN for same user already suppose some user is there and again you are going to use same name on that time you will get some exception so I'm just going to use here message like success okay so I have done like this one now what I will do I will just need to call this function so I will app dot add user so let's run this program so you can see here it is success that means the user has been added and you can see the message also it's showing here in log okay we are having the user let's move to the here and here you can come and press F5 so once you press F5 here you can see Tommy is there right you can see so this is a way to add the user I already said if you are going to add user on the basis of same name you will face some kind of exception so I'm just going to show you, you that exception so let's run this one here you can see it's showing error so see here name already bound exception see the message already exist you can if you scroll down you can see here already used see remaining name it's directly showing like this user is already there so no need to add that user again so this is the way to add the user thank you everyone